Well, um, I had started by looking at several different ones that were out there. Um, it's always a good idea to do that to find out what you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted it to be something slightly, you know, different than uh, what people are used to seeing. Um, so I was looking at a particular kind that was a quilted coat, which was pretty amazing. Um, Aaron Lauer, who has a long arm quilting business, um, and who's also in the show, Yay. who's also our wife of our tech director. Yay. Um, <laughs> all in the family. All in the family. Uh, mentioned a quilting technique called Bargello, which I think sounds like gelato. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, which is this amazing rainbowy kind of swirling effect of of a quilting piecing manner. Um, I don't know much about quilting actually, and so that was a wonderful place to start. We started looking at it. We started uh, discussing it and planning it a long time ago, before Christmas, um, and decided and really started to narrow down in in January. Um, I, uh, she agreed that she would do this. So we've had it in pieces. Mm -hmm. We had strip cutting, which we found a wonderful um, implement called an AccuQuilt that Deb Winter, another volunteer, just loaned us to use, which cuts strips kind of like linguine. It's kind of amazing. Obviously, I sound hungry, so much food. Yeah, but I'm not really. you need it's Ital <laughs> Italian food. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. um, Anyway, so the first step was the cutting of the strips. And I do think that this young lady over here needs to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, because tell us a, a little bit. bit. She yeah. and her mom did all <laughs> of the initial strip cutting and sewing. Um, we started with just the colors, the separate colors. Mm -hmm. Those were the first strips. Sewed those all together in a colored pattern. Mm -hmm. And then cut those in the opposite direction so that they changed size. They gradually went up in size and then back down. Mm -hmm. So that when you sew it together, you get that effect of it not only being, um, what do you call it when it's just like set? radiating? Yeah. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it also has like a, a wave to mm -hmm. it. That was one of the hardest things to figure yeah. out, wasn't it? Because I didn't understand how that worked. Tanya really, Tanya really dug in to the design of it to mm -hmm. figure out how the heck to get this to, to figure actually out do why this. it why it waved and not only went like a box Sounds, like pixels yeah it looked more pixely before we mm -hmm. well this is looking lovely and I can't wait to um, you know have people see how it comes together in in his magnificent coat so it's gonna have fun yeah good all right well thank you ladies thank, thank you. you.